friends. So as you can see, my shelves are getting pretty messy again. So I'm thinking I'm just going to organize the whole thing all over. Um, I had series here and then this was fantasy and nonfiction, classics, all on the same shelf, and then contemporary thrillers and horror because thrillers are my favorite, so if they're down on the, towards the bottom, you know, then I actually have to look at this stuff, uh, because these are the ones I don't read as often, but it's just my shelves are too messy, so... If you want to watch me reorganize my shelves, you're at the right place. Uh, I need to also film my November TBR video, but I mean, they're going to do that later tonight or tomorrow. We'll see how long this takes. I've been doing homework all day today. I got my math done. I had to do this PowerPoint about like a case study that I've been working on and I finished it, uploaded it, and did the voice thread for it, so I'm really proud. Then I finished my science that's due tomorrow. It was just a notebook page we did last week. I had a few questions that I needed to finish up on. And then I finished my reading. I had already done the reading. I just hadn't done the response to it. And I started working on like this portfolio piece where we have to plan for a whole week of teaching. And it's basically like what we've been working on all semester, but I've been working on it a little bit. I just need a little bit of a break. Like, whew, I've been up since like 8 o'clock. It is currently almost 1.30. Just doing school. So I need a little bit of a break. So I thought, let's organize my bookshelf. So come along. If I find anything really cool that I want to talk about, I guess I'll talk about it. Okay, I guess I will talk about this. So these are all Chicken Soup books. Um, I've read Chicken Soup for the Soul, Chicken Soup for the Teenage Soul 1 and 2, Chicken Soup for the Woman's Soul I read once, but it was a while ago, Chicken Soup for the Pet Lover's Soul. Uh, so I really like Chicken Soup. It's been a long time since I've read them, but I found these for a dollar each at my local thrift store and was like, Heck yeah, well maybe I should get back into reading chicken soup. You know what? While we're at it, let's clean my red shelf too because that one's pretty nasty too. bookshelf to kind of inspire me when I'm feeling down or like overwhelmed with school because I'm going to school to be a kindergarten teacher and so it's just like a reminder for me that even if school gets hard and everything I can do it and I'm going to be the best teacher to my students.
this bookcase that you always see. So, step one complete. I'm thinking, wow, that's a lot of books. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to do the same thing to my red shelf and just clean them both. I don't even know how I'm going to organize my shelves yet, but step one disorganize the already disorganized mess complete half complete because we're gonna do my red shelf now okay I told you it's messy I'm sorry so just gonna take stacks so this might take a while um <clears throat> and whichever ones don't spark joy or I just don't think I'm legitimately gonna get to will be on hop you want to see my masterpiece of books don't scream okay Including my unread and my red and all the accessories that are on either of my bookshelves And then there's an imposter somewhere. Do you see the imposter? Okay, imposter But imposter is a joke Part of a joke So look at that guys Her name is Bella. She's very beautiful. But let's get back to these books. Whew, so much, right? Oh my gosh, guys. I have that mystery bag of books that we haven't even gone through yet. So you know what? We're going to go through those real quick. And then we're going to figure out how to do my shelves. I'm thinking by color, by author. Author would be okay because all the same author would be together. I was thinking by the title, but then I don't like the idea of not having all my authors together. So, I don't know. I could have it by genre, but that wasn't really working for me the last two times. So, yeah. Okay, let's go through these books real quick. Alright, so there's Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. Um, I am kind of interested in this still, so I'm going to keep that one. Then there's Love Letters, Perfect Strangers. I'm going to unhaul that one. 20 Times a Lady. I've actually already started and I was really enjoying it. Then I put it down for some stupid reason, but it's Hilarious so far, so I'm gonna keep that. Hilarious. I don't know why I said hilarious like that. Then there's a Magnolia. I'm kind of on the fence about, so I think I'm just gonna get rid of this one. The Unlikelies, I'm definitely keeping. The Other Boy. Um, I honestly don't even know what this book is about, so we'll unhaul it. Summer Love is like a cute make your own story, so I want to keep it. I've never seen it in like a love story. Then Inedible Collision of Birdie and Bash is 
is a definite keep. Um, I hate everyone but you. Honestly, I read most of this. I wasn't very impressed, so I'm just, I'm, it's just text messages, and although I like books that have that element in it, I don't like books that are just text messages, which is weird, and, uh, surprise me too. Alright, two left. Something borrowed I'm keeping. I want to read that eventually. Thieving Weasels. Uh, this one just looks cute and funny, so I'm gonna keep that too. Okay, now that's all my books. <laughs> the alphabetize my books. I think I'm gonna alphabetize them on this shelf and that shelf. Should I do the fiction and nonfiction or just alphabetize them? I think I'm just gonna alphabetize them. So you probably don't wanna watch me alphabetize a hundred books. So when I'm ready to put them back on my shelf. Okay guys, so all my books are on my shelf or on my bed in the right, well they're not in the right alphabetical order, but they at least are with the other letters, like Dean Coots and uh, Stephen King and all the K's are in one pile right now. So we still have a lot of work to do, but I think this should make it easier and hopefully it'll go by quick from this point. Oh, so if you like these kind of videos, please let me know in the comments below because I like making them, but they're also a pain to edit. I'm thinking about how much I'm going to have to edit later. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get these shelves made again. Um, so I'm thinking of doing it by last name. I mean, that would suck if I wasn't because I already have them. All right, I'm gonna change this song. This is a really sad song. Not that you guys can hear it, but it was I put your picture away. This is a sad one, but I'm gonna listen to it anyway. It's If I Die Young by the band Perry. See, you guys are getting to know me too, like outside of my bookish. So we're going to keep all these. Then 
I read a single shard in sixth grade. I remember enjoying it, but I don't remember what it's about. So I want to keep it for now. Bridge to Terabithia. I really enjoyed this. I think I'm going to keep it so I can reread it. But I do think that I like the movie more in this instance as well. Then it is Shiloh, which is just an adorable book, adorable movie, so I'm going to keep it. And we have Because of Win Dixie. I want to reread this before I make my ultimate decision because I read it in fourth grade. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, well, I didn't read it. My teacher read it to us. And I remember loving it, but I don't think I've read it since then. So that was like <laughs> 20 years ago. That was like 20 years ago. So I want to reread it and then I'll determine if I'm going to get rid of it. Last two, uh, this one I actually just picked up. I wanted to read it, but I accidentally got the Spanish version. And I was going to keep it for my classroom, but since I'm going to teach a little grade, I don't want, I don't want bigger kids. Uh, so I don't think my kids will be old enough to read this. So I'm kind of on the fence. I think I might be unfolding it. Last one, there is no way in the world I'm getting rid of this book. It's yellowed and very kind of damaged on the cover. Very loved. This is my all-time favorite book. I've probably read this a hundred times in my life, which is a lot for someone who doesn't reread. So I know every single page, practically, by heart. But I, I love this. And it's weird because it's kind of like a historical fiction. And I hate historical fiction, but yet it works in this book. I guess it wasn't really anything interesting because I kept them all, but oh well.
name. I don't have any authors with the last name that starts with I. So let's go to J. Ta-da! I only have like four books. I do, actually. I have one other book of fairy tales. But I haven't read it yet, so it's kind of on my unread reference station, which might change. It's politically correct. And then it has like the tortoise and the hare, the frog prince, Snow White, Cinderella, Rapunzel. It's been very loved as well. Um, my friend's daughter actually sent it to me, so thank you, Tegan, and thank you, Michael, for sending it to me. Right, my Bible with my chicken soup books. That that looks good. Okay, so now we need to finish. These are all by different authors, so we're going to start that right there. Okay, so I only have three books that have K for the first letter of the last name, but they are huge. So maybe I'll stand them up. Because it's like my entire, well, it's the first three. I'm missing the fourth one, but I haven't even finished the first one yet, so. Yeah, no. Of The Walking Dead.
Queen, Alita, coming at you. I did not show you how my shelves turned out. And I filmed this like three weeks ago. So for the most part, my shelves are the same. I did just get a used books monthly are kind of just sitting there in the front. I need to actually put them where they go. Other than that, I think I'm doing pretty good on keeping my books organized. So I'm going to just quickly go over <laughs> what I didn't show you when we finished. All right, so this is my first shelf. I need to take my little pumpkin guy away because it's kind of not really fall anymore. But there's that with my rolled doll. All my D's. Then these are the ones that I just got in my used books monthly. Okay, this one I picked out from a little free library. It's missing the cover, but I still want to read it, so... Those I need to put in the right spot. Then I have Smart is my superpower boss. Then my books. Then shelf number three. These are all Dean Coots books and then there's more over there because they couldn't all fit right there. Then number four, my teacher's sign. Then Chevy Stevens is over there. And then down here is my last one, which is only half full, so that's cool and surprising. This art thing I'm actually going to put more in the corner. Thank you guys for watching my bookshelf reorganization. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I thought, it was very, very difficult to edit. But I do it for you. Don't forget to hit the big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me.